comments are like women. You never think you're going to see one again. And then bang, it brightens the sky up like a second sun. And you're like, wow. Okay, that may have been the dumbest analogy ever. Comets are really like uh, dirty, flaming, cat dragon snowballs that you never really know what they're going to do. Most of the time, they disappoint. But I got a funny feeling about C-2019. Why for Atlas? And right now, we do all feel like Atlas because the world is kind of on our shoulders. You might be like, Thor, when is Common Atlas going to be closest to the sun? And then I would be like, um, April, May. Wait, January, February, March, April, May. May 31st. Okay? So, yeah. Um, May 31st, it'll be closest to the sun, which will be 0 0.261 astronomical units and an astronomical unit is the distance from earth to sun i believe i don't know my astronomical knowledge might be rusty but i'm just saying we got like over two more months for this puppy to possibly brighten and then you might be like hey thor when is this thing gonna be closest to earth i aim to please baby so i would tell you January, February, March, April, May, May 24th. Um, so yeah, it has definitely got at least two months worth of time to get brighter. And she's already getting pretty bright right now. We all love bright women, don't we? And there's, you know, I'm not gender refined a comet. You can put whatever, um, you know, genitals you want on the comet for your own imagination's sake. Yeah, this video is off the charts, man, or off the rails. I'm going nuts. You wonder why? I'm kind of stir crazy. So this is how close it is right now. It is just now about to pass Venus. Because the closer it gets to do the big whip doopity doo around the sun, that's an official science term. The faster it goes. So it's gonna pass Earth in a matter of days, in a week or two. And then it's gonna pass Venus and then through Mercury and then zoom on out of here. Fascinating stuff. The auroras that are happening are pretty strange and boss. All right, I'm trying to sound hip. Is it working? And our buddy Steve is making another appearance. You know, Steve, he's our th strong thermal emission velocity enhancement. He's kind of like a super fancy proton arc, but way different. You know what I'm saying? So S Steve is back. And maybe uh, there are rings around the Earth, kind of like there are rings around the sun. And so Steve is... Uh, the sun and earth going Saturn because Saturn has rings and then on top of that Venus is going retrograde in May also from the 13th to the 25th of June and so it's going to be very interesting as relationships and resources reshuffle check out this heavenly triangle between the moon the Pleiades and Venus can I tell you a story one of the very first stories I started to write as a kid, I don't know, in my teens, maybe even 10 or 11, was about a super warrior knight who had magic. But he ended up dating all seven of the Pleiades sisters. And at the end, they all unite to protect him and then fight off the bad guys. So that is cool. And technically, yeah, I think I'm in, like, all my seven, my seven crushes represent the Pleiadian sisters. We ain't got to make out but i definitely recommend us all getting along and working together in the future as all dimensions all realities and it seems all planets metaphorically collide you know the universe is definitely a strange and interesting place that gets more and more fascinating every single day this is venus the moon and auroras and so i'm trying to inject a little bit of romance into the air hopefully that works but you never can tell this is a pretty cool photograph I believe that's venus the moon and pleiades crescent moon venus and pleiadian star cluster by mark nicodem yeah dude the universe is a beautiful interesting fascinating always changing place change is constant for sure What's going to happen next? Definitely interesting stuff. Probably be dangerous. So, yeah, 
um, Atlas and Venus are going to come together. That's exciting in May. And so, you know, as someone mentioned earlier, if you thought March was bad, March is, April's going to make March look like Sesame Street. Hey, you guys, that's the electric company. And I'm sorry if I gentrified you again. What is Atlas's magnitude right now? I don't know. I'll have to look it up. What will Atlas's magnitude get to? I don't know. You got a guess on that one? Atlas could be the brightest comet in decades. Hey, where have I heard that song and dance before? Yeah, it looks like the light curve on this thing, which is guess, takes it to about a four or five, so it might be naked to the visible eye. The current magnitude of it is estimated by NASA's Jack Parsons lab to be 14.6, although the observed magnitude is 8.2. And so if it's at 8.2 now, which would put it right there, that's a five mag. Yeah, right about there. Then um, it definitely could uh, surprise, you know, in my opinion. Who knows what this thing's going to do, but this is a good candidate to blow our socks off. And, you know, they say sometimes comets are harbingers of doom. And we'll allow this one. Who knows, maybe Atlas is coming to save our asses. At the moment, Atlas is near Ursa Major. So we got multiple Atlases in the sky. While one is now fading, it had a peak at 8.4 magnitude on the 18th of March. But Comet Atlas Y4, this here says it's at a 9 magnitude. Um, it says peak magnitude on the 31st of May. It's 6.9. But seeing how it only has like 2.1 magnitudes to brighten to beat that in two months, I definitely think it's got a chance to beat it, man. You know what I'm saying? But you got multiple comets. 210P, Christensen. 88P, Howell. C, 2017T2, Pan Stars. So, you know, it is definitely going to be a romantic comedy season that will probably have some doom, death, and gloom mixed in the mix because that just is the way of 2020. How low will she go? Here he go. Gender fight is however you want to. You know, we can only take our guesses. You know? So, and it's just your update. But yeah, we got two months on this thing to brighten. And so, maybe it may be extremely impressive. And we may see it in the sky with our own eyes. Though we'll have to maintain our social distancing, I guess. I love you. I hope this was entertaining in some kind of a way. You know? All right. Great. God bless everyone. Stay cool. I'll get my sense of humor back and my charm, hopefully. Asterisk.